No, I haven't either. So, fun experience, I'm sure. Can you talk about why it was best for you to come back to Denver and this organization? Yeah, I just knew the people around here, knew the people upstairs, um, liked the relationship. Um, and of course, you know, nobody really wants to move. And I like the, the area, um, like the outdoorsy stuff here, like the city life. So, everything was a perfect fit for me. Yeah, like Jerry said, you know, it's the energy stuff that you see. Um, it's the professionalism that you see him walking around, how he talks to you. Um, he's pretty much like a coach, uh, the way he talks um, and the level of uh, the football knowledge and the IQ that he has. So it's fun to have him around. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, you know, these couple OTA practices coming up here, you know, in a couple of weeks um, and practice and camp like that. It'll be fun to go against him and, and see some different looks. Coming off uh, the injury you did going into the offseason, were you a little apprehensive? about how things would go for you market-wise, you know, getting a new contract, and, and what do you think how it all turned out? Yeah, I was uncertain. Um, you know, never had done it before, hadn't been a free agent before. So unsure what was going to happen, just trusted my agent, um, and then kept on talking to these guys here and, and a couple different teams, um, you know, when the process started. And it all worked out the way we wanted to, and I'm happy with where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like I was playing some of the best ball I've played um, professionally so far. Uh, but yeah, definitely looking up towards that uh, and trying to better that uh, from what I did last year um, and just trying to keep on stacking those days and stacking, you know, the good games and the good practice on top of each other. Jesse, you knew where you stood with Vic, but with him leaving the coaching staff, how nice was it that George and the new staff wanted you back? Yeah, that meant a lot too. Uh, you know, and we kind of had the flush of the old coaches and a bunch of new guys. Um, just was hoping to build a small relationship at least while I was still here, um, you know, rehabbing um, early on to the off season. Um, and I got to know a couple of them, you know, Coach Hanson, I got to talk to him a couple of times, Coach E a couple of times, um, and really enjoyed my conversations with them. Um, so, yeah, very happy uh, that they wanted me back. And, you know, that meant a lot to sign back here. How does a veteran like you watch the draft? Like, do you watch to make sure they don't take an inside linebacker or just don't pay attention? I used to pay more attention, and now I'm kind of trying to phase out of that uh, a little bit and keep away from it. So this draft, I didn't really watch too much, you know, hit or miss if I see the TV. Uh, but I was around my kids and my wife a lot, so it was more playing with them and, and doing that stuff, and I didn't pay too much attention. How has Jonas Griffin come along also there on the inside? With you? Yeah, the guy's good. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of talent. The guy can run, um, smart kid, and he uh, he's come a long ways, especially, uh, you know, from last year from the beginning of it where he was just playing special teams and then coming into the defensive role, playing linebacker, and now communicating with me out there and other guys um, and really shows his football IQ is really increasing. Jody, how important was it for you to be around the team as you were rehabbing? It seemed like you were certainly in, in the mix, I guess, in game day especially. Yeah. No, I just, I just want to stay around them, um, you know, depending on what happens the next year and also just keeping that relationship with everybody. Um, and I know if you get detached from the game for too long, you kind of lose some of the IQ stuff or maybe you slack in some way or, you know, you lack in somewhere uh, and lose some knowledge. So I just want to stay around the game, um, stay up to date, um, and just get to, guy, get to know these guys even more um, and keep that relationship and communication going. Mm, I, I don't know. I, I haven't really had an injury like that before, injury really at all that's been a season-ending injury. So um, better than what I expected. It was it was pretty simple, uh, nothing crazy. Coach Landau, uh, the strength staff, and also uh, you know the medical staff did a great job with me, I thought, on progressing me in the right stages and not trying to hurry it too much or not trying to take too long. Um, so 100% was probably uh, end of February, middle of February there, I think. Um, and, yeah, feel great so far. Yeah, just kind of like I said earlier, just keeping that communication with them, keeping that uh, relationship with the other guys, um, and didn't know what that was going to happen with the coaches too. So just try to keep them on both ends of that side. Um, and just staying around the game of football uh, meant a lot to me. Um, and just to try to keep on learning, you know, watching those other guys practice, whether it be Jonah or whether it be Barron, um, Justin, anybody out there, uh, just seeing different styles of football and how to better my game and use, you know, small crafts from other people's games to put into mine. Uh, no, the most was probably my college, uh, and that was my AC joint, and that was one game. So, yeah, I hadn't really 
been over one game, and that was a weird thing for me. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. Does, that, does missing that time, does it, how does it kind of change your perspective on the game? Is there a different appreciation? Yeah, it's, it's more of an outside-in kind of thing. Um, even though you know, I try to stay around the facility, try to stay you know, in the loop, uh, you're watching from the outside a little more. Really gave me the understanding of how much I enjoy the game, how much I appreciate the game. Uh, maybe took it for too much granted, um, and really truly love the game. So, you know, it was a good view for me to kind of take a step back for a little bit, um, and then see, you know, how much I enjoy this game, how much I love it, and how you know how long I want to play it for. What are your expectations for the defense this year? Yeah, you can go a wide, you can go a wide array with that one. Um, you know, I think we got a lot of great players, a lot of talent in the room. Um, whether it be linebacker safety um, up front, it, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of talent. We just need to be able to, you know, state our job, uh, communicate, and I think uh, you know the sky's the limit on us. There's been a lot of changes, both coaches and with players on defense. What do you think will be some of the differences style-wise? What do you hope to be better at this year? Yeah, um, you know. There's some small things already changing, you know, whether it be our match coverage um, and how we play it, um, some of our techniques, some of our disguises showing different defenses. Um, so there's a bunch of small stuff uh, that we're still, you know, adjusting to, uh, getting used to. And, of course, uh, the language has changed a little bit, but the defense is pretty similar. So it's been a fun, uh, you know, we had a fun couple days in the uh, voluntary mini camp uh, that we got to know really the defense very fast and very well. Um, and now we're just kind of keeping it going here the next couple weeks at least. When you got hurt last year, did you feel like you were setting up for a big season after the first game and a half or so just that you had? Did that kind of add to your fire to get back? Or? Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought uh, that was some of the best ball I played so far um, and was definitely going to, you know, bring that level up the rest of the year just with confidence and the feel of, you know, game after game, you usually get better. Um, so, yeah, that helped to the, to the fire of things of me wanting to get back, um, me wanting to keep on playing better. Um, and really excited about this year. Jesse, you talked about your kids. You had a little boy a few months ago. Mm -hmm. How and, and what has that changed? Yeah, two is a different game, that's for sure. Jerry didn't even say it up here. I thought he was going to say it. But uh, yeah, two is a little bit different uh, when one's sleeping, another one might not be. So it's been fun having both of them around. Um, you know, the wife and the kids, they're all back home in Iowa right now. But they'll come out, you know, every other week or so. And um, it's been fun, but an adjustment. Have you ever played in Europe? Never. What's your sense? We'll see when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks,